everybody. Welcome back to our channel and welcome to my laundry room. Now in our new house tour that we did just a bit ago, we never came into the laundry room. Why? Because laundry just isn't that fun to do. It's a chore, but Laundry doesn't have to look like a chore when you have really good, good looking appliances. Now, this is my laundry room. It is not finished. I still need to put th things on the wall, but Samsung heard that I was on the market for a new washer and dryer for the new house. So they sent me this set to check out to see what I thought about it. So today I am gonna tell you guys what I think about this set. I have the top load washer and the dryer. I'm gonna put a link in the description below to the exact products that I'm talking about today. So the thing is, don't judge me, but I want my laundry room to look good. I want my laundry appliances to look good just like I would want them to look good in my kitchen. So I love that Samsung redesigned, especially their top and front load washers. So they're not only beautiful, but functional. Um, I just think it looks really great. And this set comes in two different colors. It comes in a black stainless steel, which I think works perfectly in my laundry room, but it also comes in a white, which would have also worked because I have white cabinets. Um, so two different colors that I, I chose from. Um, there's just a lot of great features that I wanna share with you guys today. Um, the washer especially, but also with the dryer. And so why don't we get started with the washer? Now first, let's just start out with the obvious. A front load versus a top load like I have. I have had both. I am currently loving a top load, but it is personal preference. It's like asking somebody to, who's buying a baby stroller, which is better, side by side or tandem? It depends on the person. It depends on what you like. I am, like I said, loving a top load right now. Why? Because there's nothing wrong with the front loads. It's just that with the front loads, I feel like you should buy the pedestal that it sets on to bring it up so you're not kind of getting on the floor to get in the washer and dryer. My problem is, is when I had the front loads, I would never invest in the pedestals and it was always on my wish list, but it would never come with it. So you know what? I just really like the top load. I'm not a tall person. One of the complaints about top, some top load washers is that you can't, the short people can't get all the way into the wash drum. I am 5'5 five five on a good day when I'm standing up tall and I can easily get to the bottom of this drum, but yet it's a very large drum. So I don't know what they did, but I can reach things in there. I just feel like the top load just is better for me. I feel like it does a great job washing the clothes. Now, let's talk about washing right now. Nobody wants to hear their laundry being done. <laughs> All it does is remind you that you're in the middle of doing laundry. So I love when the washer is quiet. So there's a VRT technology built into this one. I don't even really know how they make it happen, but I just know that it makes a quiet wash. <laughs> what does that mean? It means I'm not gonna hear the washer while I'm watching TV in the other room, which what's not good about that? So it has that VRT technology, which if you're looking for a quiet washer, this one is very quiet. Now this one has some Okay, let me talk about one of my favorite features. One of my favorite features is the fact that there is a super speed setting. <laughs> Have you ever had a kid that, let's say the night before, right as you're going to bed, they're like, I need this uniform tomorrow morning. Well, you don't have time to do the laundry that fast, but with this one, if you turn the super speed on, it's a 36 minute wash. I can do that, put everything in the dryer, go to bed, and it'll be ready in the morning or they get home from school, they do the same thing. I need my uniform in an hour. And you're like, really? <laughs> That's where the super speed comes in. This is great for teenagers who leave things for the last minute. It's a 36 minute cycle, which is fantastic. Another thing I like is it has an active water jet feature. And you're like, what is that? Here's the thing. I love a laundry room with a sink so that you can pre-treat clothes, you can hand wash them, things like that. Not everybody has a sink in their laundry room. So Samson has built it right in. So let me go ahead and show you inside how it works. Okay, let's go ahead and look inside the washer drum. First of all, a very big load can fit in this. It's a very large washer drum, plus it's sparkly clean. Even after a few months of use, I will tell you how I keep it sparkly clean in just a moment. But let's go ahead and look at this active water jet. That is this blue thing right here. And what that is, it's a built-in water faucet. So I can easily pre-treat like soiled or heavily stained clothes, or I can hand wash things. So if I didn't have a laundry sink in my laundry room, this is perfect. Now all I have to do is push this button. That turns the water on so I can easily pre-treat, like I said, heavily you know, soiled clothes. And it will run for five minutes unless I go ahead and turn it off when I am finished. So I absolutely really like that feature on the washer. 
So how do I keep my washer so clean? This washer has a self-clean technology built into it in which after every 20 loads of laundry that I've done, it notifies me that I have to run the self-clean option. And what that does is it keeps dirt and bacteria from forming inside the washer tub. No additional detergent is needed. I just turn on the cycle and it keeps it super clean. And like I said, every 20 loads of laundry, it reminds me. So I love that because we get busy. I forget. So I really love that feature. And look at the, look at the results. It's super clean. Now the washer has a ton of features, but I'm just sharing some of my favorite features with you today. Now another favorite feature is the child lock option. And this is great for parents of small kids because kids get curious about appliances. They may crawl in them or try to, and you want to keep your kids safe. So all you do is to turn on the child lock. You just have to push temperature and rinse at the same time for three seconds and that turns the child lock on. And what happens is that if the lid raises, it sets on an alarm that will keep going. It will ding a few times, pause, and then keep going. And DC will show up in the display right here. And if there is more water than is safe inside the tub, it will drain it by force after 30 seconds. Again, that's to prevent a child from, maybe they got to the washer when it was filling. They don't want any bad things to happen. So I really like the child lock option. Like I said, it stays on even when you turn it off and turn it on again. And to turn it off, all you have to do is do the same thing. Hold those two buttons down and that turns it off. Now, Samsung says it has an easy access tub, and what that means is that short people like myself can easily get to the bottom of the tub to get that one lone sock that just keeps kind of hiding at the corner, um, so I can easily get all the clothes out and into the dryer. I also love that it looks good, right? I mean, if I'm gonna be doing a chore like laundry, I want the appliances to look good. And it has also, you know, you can change the temperature, you can change how many times it rinses. Um, I love the super speed, which we talked about. There's a smart care option that you can do with an app on your phone to, if there was something wrong with it, it could talk to your washer. I haven't had to do that, so we're not gonna talk about that. Um, I just feel like this top load washer really cleans the clothes really well, and I have two teenagers in the house, and they've got stinky clothes. <laughs> so I love the fact that it does its job of cleaning them really well. So let's go ahead and move to the dryer. So once I wash the laundry, I've got to dry it, and that's where the dryer comes in. This has an Energy Star certification, which means it's energy efficient and eco-friendly, which I love. Now, it dries the clothes. Imagine that. One cycle, they're dry. There are some features on this one I really like. It has a multi-steam moisture sensor, which means it can sense when the things are dry, and then it's going to turn it off so that it saves energy. Fantastic. So it's gonna tumble them until it's dry. Fantastic. Um, so let's go ahead and look at some of the features on the dryer. Okay, so here is your control panel. You have all kinds of different settings for different loads of laundry. You have a steam sanitize, which I really like. Now the steam sanitize, this is a cycle that removes 99.99% of germs and bacteria and over 95% of pollen and it kills 100% of the dust mites. I know, super great. Now there's also a sensor dry as well. Now sensor dry, it'll say moisture sensor right here. And sensor dry automatically optimizes the time and temperature of your drying cycle so it will protect your clothes from heat damage and avoid excess energy use when you just don't need it, right? Which I think is fantastic. Now you can change your things like dryness to make it less or more, temperature, high to low, time. You can do a wrinkle, wrinkle prevent. Got, like I said, all kinds of different things over here. I like the quick dry because again, when the kids tell me at the very last minute they need a uniform. So that are all of the controls. That is the really cool square door and that's inside my dryer. So there's not much else to say about the dryer except it does a wonderful job at <laughs> drying clothes. So I really like this set. I've had it for two months, so so far it's doing great. Fantastic, looks great, washes my clothes and dries my clothes, phenomenal. Like I said, I've got two teenagers in the house and a 10 year old, which means there's a lot of stinky sports clothes, but this one tackles it with no problem. I love that the water jet in the washer that I can hand wash things or pre-treat things right there without using the sink. I love the, you know, the fact that this has a moisture sensor, so it's going to save energy, but it's gonna keep my clothes dry 
and prevent them from getting heat damage if it dried them too much. So many great features. Like I said, I'm gonna put a link in the description below to both the washer and the dryer if you wanna check them out. And thanks to Samsung for sending them to me. And that's it, guys. That was my laundry room. There's nothing else to show you except the huge pile of shoes that you would think, oh, I don't know, 30 people live in this house? There isn't, there's five, but somehow we have more shoes in this room <laughs> than I care to show, but I'm showing you anyway. And we don't allow shoes in the house, so this is kind of where everything goes. They don't go up to their rooms or anything, so everybody just stores all their shoes in here. It's a lot. Um, and that's really my laundry room. Uh, I fold clothes over here, which is fantastic. I mean, I fold clothes. I do have a laundry sink, which I absolutely love. If you're building a house, put a laundry sink in, or at least get this washer so that you can do loads of laundry, like hand wash them right there in the washer. So I guess I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.